U.S. will be vows to increase electricity or quit presidency after first term. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the 2023 general elections in Nigeria, Peter Obi, has promised to quit the presidency after his first term in office if he fails to increase Nigeria's power generation. He made the vow when he addressed a packed audience at Beverly Hilton, Los Angeles, United States of America. It was at the flag off of his U.S. speaking tour. The Labour Party presidential candidate, who had just flown in from Toronto, Canada, described countries that had doubled their power supply in a few years, including Egypt, where he recently went to understudy. Obi lamented that even the president of South Africa, which produced, produces 50,000 megawatts of electricity, had just declared a state of emergency in the sector for being too little, but Nigeria that has produced or that produces a paltry 4,000 megawatts for 200 million people has not. He said in a report sent to the Eagle Online by US-based Nigerian lawyer Emmanuel Ogebe, I will increase power generation in four to five years. This is not a guarantee. I'm saying if I don't do it, I will leave the office. Obi bemoaned the fact that no one was held to account to Nigeria, pointing out that when politicians get into office, they renege on what they had promised, claiming that they did not know what it entailed. The former Tutamanambra governor said in Nigeria, people don't do what is expected, do people do what is inspected. He challenged the enthusiastic Nigerian American that they must hold him accountable when he comes into power to deliver on what he promised. Obi's whose speech was interrupted with applause and chants of Obi said no one was asking for perfection, but that, but that at minimum, leaders should show direction and effort. Narrating an interaction we had in with a member of a bar, rival party on the flight to Toronto, the previous day, Obi asked him if he knew the pilot. The man said no. He further asked, but you trust him that he's taking you to Toronto as he announced. However, the problem with the governors in Nigeria, he stated, was that after promising a flight to Toronto, the pilot of the state will enter the cockpit and begin to make excuses that they did not know the airplane needed fuel and that the destination now is Lagos. Is now Lagos. Concluding, the guest speaker said, election of 2023 must not be based on religion, tribe, connection, or entitlement, but character, competence, capacity, and commitment. Responding to questions as to how he intends to increase power generation, Obi stated that he discovered that one of the companies responsible for Egypt's power transformation is present in Nigeria, so he decided to investigate why they haven't replicated similar success. He said in his findings, will remain confidential for now but there was no magic involved in achieving it while appreciating the crowd for a massive turnout on a weekday especially will be apologized for the late start due to his delayed flight from canada he said at home i used to delete and refactor it into our planning i was surprised when air canada was delayed for two hours in nigeria in fact we're surprised when the flight leaves on time the good governor speech series continued in houston texas or continued in Houston, Texas on Tuesday and Wednesday before proceeding to North Carolina. Wow, okay. Um, it is very funny because all the comments, or most of them, you know, is saying that Obi is addressing his iPod members in America. I mean, wow. But anyways, I think it's, um, obviously, when it comes to, you know, speaking, he's very smart. I mean, if you don't, if you don't, if you miss a lot of things, he is really shading a lot of, you know, current politicians you may say and those that are in office to be honest and really what you know you'd expect from him is that or not i mean it's funny because he is telling us to hold him accountable this time he's talking about nigerians in america because they are also as invested but when it gets into power you know it's very important that he's held accountable and he's asking for it i mean he said it's not a guarantee but if he doesn't achieve, you know, to double, not just double, but increase power generation, because we cannot be on 8,000 megawatts for 200 million people. That's just not it. But really, he said that if he doesn't achieve this in his first term, he will resign. So we're going to hold him until that that he has said, which, you know, is very good for Nigerians because we're actually having a leader that actually wants to be, you know, held accountable. Um, And that is, I mean... It's perfect, to be honest. Given the choices that we have, he is the one for the job, really.
the next comment here says this is a man that has at least something to offer he did not say the usual hundred days in office by an average nigerian politician it is an arduous task to accomplish absolutely and i think you know he understands that we're not trying to do a hundred years of work and finish it in four years of course not but he he's one who understands impact and value and so he understands that from the aspect of electricity i mean just generating power alone changes a lot of things in the country especially businesses and that already in itself has links to the economy and standard of living and purchasing power so really from electricity we are talking about a ripple effect that would affect a lot of things especially you know the economy which affects every individual's purchasing power so all this you know where we're hearing about the naira just depreciating and we're having one um one dollar to like 700 naira that is ridiculous and so you know it is an arduous task but let's be realistic in eight years i mean we're gonna have to do some mad crazy regime to really fix nigeria in, in such a small amount of time but being realistic with the fact that yes nigerians are capable of working and there are things that we need to fix i think you know he is pretty much realistic and that's why i feel like we should not necessarily have fun or be a very excited about this is a very tedious process it's a process of finding someone that is best for nigerians and that would actually do the work and not just think we're going to put somebody there expect him to do magic and it's going to work no you have to understand this kind of man is somebody that is expecting nigerians to also wo- work with him so really we can't we it shouldn't be a thing of fan base because i think with a lot of politicians you know how it has been in the past obviously it's been only two parties but you know carrying the broom carrying the umbrella you know the rallies the singing the dancing to get votes it's like it's not a fun like literally if you don't fix up it's finished for nigerians so really it's not a time for us to be smiling we need to be harsh we need to be on game we need to really change things because you know he's going around the you know around the u.s and you'd find that if, to be honest and the rate of which nigerians are actually in the u.s you'd find you know what if they actually had the opportunity to come back because things are better most of them will most of them absolutely will and will not even think twice about it so it's important that even they themselves are as invested because depending on how good the country is that will also affect the rate at which they'd also want to move back and if they're going to move back come on you know that is very big big for the fact that they you know they're hard working and they're helping the american economy and that would probably have a massive shake but not just america but the uk all those countries and all our professionals actually come back and then start working to make nigeria even better that that would be that would be amazing that would be really amazing put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe